Hello there, I am Giant Grotto, and this is more of my video games that I own side series. I think in the last episode we did, um, PlayStation 1 games, and I showed off my PlayStation 1 collection, and now I'm showing off my Nintendo DS collection, and I only have one, two, three, four, five. I have five DS games, um, which is a small collection, but these five games actually have, um, Entertain me, I guess you could say. Uh, and I, since, um, 2000, 2010, when I first got my DS Lite, um, I was a black DS Lite. And, um, now, by the way, I have, um, I have this DS, which is Guitar Hero and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, my original copy of, um, Pokemon Diamond is in here. This is the copy of Pokemon Diamond I used, um, for my walkthrough file. Although I don't, I think I don't have the same team and save, same save file, but it's still there. It got a little, my dog chewed it up a little bit, but I was able to still save it. It still works and it can still be played. Um, so yeah, there's that. I could just have to put this in here and, uh, push it in. And it still clicks in as you, heard, you may have heard the click, but yeah, there's that. So yeah, I have um, five games as I said before, uh, so let's get right into it. The first game I have for my Nintendo DS collection is Pokemon Platinum. Yes, I have, um, I think I still have the same save file I did for my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough guide that I did back in like 2011-2012. And uh, I, I, which, I got this game from, uh, I got this game from... Where did I get this from? I got the thing I got from a birthday or Christmas. I can't remember which one. I think it was Christmas actually. And um, it came in this case that was a three D the DS case, but it was like didn't have any like art on it. Like it was just like a black um, DS case that didn't have like cover art or anything. So I don't really have a case for this game anymore. I don't really, I don't even know where that case went. So that kind of stinks. But yeah, here's Pokemon Platinum. I do enjoy this game. I recommend this game. It's fourth generation of Pokemon. It's really fun in my opinion. I think everyone should try it out and it's a lot of fun. And I'm glad I still have this game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Next we have Pokemon Diamond, which is rated E. By the way, po po Pokemon Platinum was also rated E. So yeah. Um, I also did this. I originally did this as a walkthrough guide back in 2010. One of my f most favorite of my, my, I'd say one of my most weird walkthroughs actually, walkthrough guides. And yeah, I really have fun playing this game. I prefer Dialga over Palkia because Dialga looks cool in my opinion and Palkia is pink, you know. I was like, I don't want pink legendary back in 2010 and that's how my mindset was basically. But this is a fun game, I recommend it. I'm glad I still have the case for this game, it's really cool and it's still in nice condition which is awesome. So uh, I can't say anything really bad about this game, I, I liked it a lot. Except for like the battle system, was the, I think this is the slowest in the Pokemon series, but if you can get past that. And the fact that you can all, in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the thing was with fire types is that if you didn't choose Chimchar, the only other fire type through the main game, excluding the after game, you could get was, um, was Ponyta. So you could either get a Rapidash as your final evolution as a fire type or Infernape. But if you didn't choose Chim, if you didn't choose Chimchar as your start Pokemon, then Rapidash would be the only, uh, only other option for, uh, uh, for um, a fire type. I remember like I saw Leroy and Super Skarmory and I all had to use Rapidashes as our final fire type because we did not choose Chimchar. I chose Turtwig in my original Pokemon uh, Diamond Walkthrough Guide and my Redo Walkthrough Guide of Pokemon Diamond I chose Chimchar which is awesome because that's the that's, um, starter I didn't pick between uh, Turtwig, Pipwop, and, Pot and, uh, and uh, Chimchar I guess you could say. Because in, in Pokemon Diamond my regular Walkthrough guide. I chose Turtwig, then I chose uh, uh, Pipwop and Platinum, and then I chose in my redo for Pokemon Diamond. I chose uh, Chimchar, so I could use all three of the starters. So yeah, but um, yeah, that whole fire type situation is just so I keep on th putting my right hand back because I'm straining, kind of having to stretch over my camera and stuff. That's okay. It's not a tripod, so that's cool. But yeah, th that's a big deal. The fire type thing. Rapidash or Infernape, take your pick. They changed them in Platinum where they have a lot more fire types of Platinum, which is good. But yeah, those were the days back when you could only choose between two fire types, basically, and Diamond and Pearl. But still a fun game, I'd recommend it, as I said that before. I'm pretty sure I said that just before, or in this video, like, two minutes ago. So yeah, let's move on to our next game. Oh, by the way, I got this game. We were, 
it was the summer of 2007 or summer of 2008 where I got this game at a um, FYI store that sold like music and video games and stuff. I, saw, I, I've, I was in a mall in Florida that I went to and bought this game. I think about like, I think about like, I think I spent like $40 on this game plus tax. Cause I think back in this, back in the DS games era, um, games were, new games were like $34.99, I think. And, um, yeah, I paid like $40 plus tax for this game. It was very worth it. But, um, I, um, it, back, it was just back in the summer of 2007, 2008. I was actually going to Disney World with my family and, uh, I needed a game that, um, would pass time, I guess. But I actually ended up playing like a straight hour of this in the hotel room because <laughs> I was just so hooked on it. I, I chose Turtwig and I had a lot of fun time. I went through the game. I think I may have gotten into like Orenburg City before I, my parents were like, hey, we're at Disney World, no time for video games or something like that. But yeah, I really like this game. It's one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. My favorite being probably Pokemon Leaf Green. Then my second favorite probably be Pokemon Diamond, honestly. Because I like fourth generation. I'm Giant Grodel for crying out loud. You know, Grodel is a fourth generation Pokemon. So now let's move on to the next game. Now here's a game I actually bought before I got on the plane ride. Okay, so I, I, live, I live in St. Louis, Missouri. So uh, St. Louis, Missouri to Orlando, Florida, where Disney World is at. It's a three hour plane ride, so um my dad told me to buy a game at GameStop and I bought my I bought this game at my local GameStop close to my dad's house. Um and uh I bought this game just so I could play it on the plane and I thought it was really cool in the trailer, but I was looking at the like the PS two trailer or PS three trailer where I don't even know what the PS two was at the time in two thousand eight, two thousand seven. But maybe. <laughs> But, um, I was looking at the console trailer, because I thought it was like, oh, it's 3D and stuff, I really like this game. So I bought this game at GameStop, it was like maybe $20, I'd say. And, um, I liked Benton Alien Force, the show on Cartoon Network at the time, too, so that's what kind of, you know, it wanted, I wanted to buy it because of that, too, because of that reason. But, like, I was really disappointed because, like, it's not, it wasn't the same. The handheld versions of, you know, games based off TV shows and movies, um, are, um, kind of worse than the ones on console to be honest because like i remember super mega did a um cars the video game one off and uh it was, they played like the game boy advanced version which was really pixelated and stuff as you can see if you see the video um but um and, and the console version is a lot better because it's like 3d modeling and graphics and all that it's just like why did i fall for that but i still like this game i beat it in like one day though and I was like, I beat through, I went through half of the game before even getting on the plane. But I also picked a chat with, um, some strangers on the plane too, I guess you could say. But yeah, that, that was just a fun time when picked chat was still relevant and, uh, popular. But it's still, people still use it now, I guess. But it's not as popular as it once was. But that's okay. And, uh, yeah, I got this game before, um, po Pokemon Diamond. So this is actually technically my first DS game I ever bought or ever got to play. Um, second being Pokemon Diamond, because I bought that when I got to Florida. So yeah, I guess th that's that. Now here is a good game, Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo DS, rated E. Uh, if I didn't already mention that Ben 10 Alien Force is also rated E. Uh, this game is awesome. I like the mini games in one player mode, and I like the story mode. Uh, to this day, I haven't beat this game 100%. I think I got like 145 stars, so I'm missing 5 stars still. I do want to 100% eventually just get those like 5 remaining stars I've missed. But some of the stars in this game are hard. Now, I've beaten Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64 twice, as I probably mentioned in my, um, in my previous videos, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I beat it twice. Got all 120 stars in that game twice. And I've never beat this game 100%, but I like the mini games. I like the story. It's fun. I like how you can play as Mario, Yoshi, Luigi, and Wario. Because Luigi ha has the Vanish Cat power. Uh, Yoshi has, um, the Fire Breath power. Mario has the Wing Cat power. And, um, the Balloon Mario power. And then w Wario, uh, has the, um, Metal, Metal Cat power. So that's awesome. I do like this game. I recommend it. I'd recommend it to anyone who really, who likes uh, the whoever liked the Super Mario 64, the original Super Mario 64. Yeah, and this is, um, I don't remember when I got this game though. I think I got it at GameStop and I bought it with my own money. I'm pretty sure that's the case, but yeah, I could be wrong. But this is a fun game, and I really do recommend it to anyone who hasn't played it. You know, it's fun. It's fun. It's a fun time. And my phone dings, so I either got a notification or a text message. So yeah. 
Moving on to the last game, I believe. Um, yeah, I have one more game after this to show off. Okay, so the last game I have is Pokemon White version. Rated E for everyone. To this day, I've had this game since 2011. I remember buying it from a Slackers like a week after the game came out back in 2011, 2010. Somewhere around there. And um I haven't beaten I'm still stuck I still like left my save file and I'm in I'm in the middle of Victory Road is where I'm at. I haven't beat the Pokemon League, I haven't beat the, caught the legendary. Uh I know one of the legendaries is Zekrom, but uh I think the other one's Reshram or something like that. Like you know, Pokemon White black and white I wasn't too into. And I have had this game for at least six years and I've never beaten it. Do the po got to pass the Pokemon League and uh beat the Pokemon League and stuff. But uh I do recommend it. Um, I know Trickacamera is doing a Let's Play of this right now. Um, he's doing black and white, but like more of one of the others. He's doing more of black or white, but he's showing off like both copies. So I do want to try to get back into this game. I want to finish it eventually, but I just, I don't have the motivation to like play this game, which is kind of sad because I do like Pokemon games. But it's like one of my least favorite Pokemon games right now still, which kind of stinks because I, I still don't know how this really ends. I haven't really watched a walkthrough of it, how it ends or whatever. I kind of know what the final battle looks like, but still, I just don't know all the pieces to the um, story and whatnot. But yeah, uh, I got this game. I bought it from a Slackers, as I said, back in 2010 and 2011. Like, shortly after the video, shortly after the um, game came out, I still have the case, which is pretty cool. Kept it in good condition, so that's awesome. So yeah, that's awesome. Let's uh, go back to where the, all the video games are stacked. On top of each other. Okay, so here we are with all the video games stacked on top of each other. I do like the Nintendo DS line of games. I just don't have that many as you can see right here. This is all the games I have for the Nintendo DS. But like, again, as I said, uh, these games, these five games have entertained me through the whole Nintendo uh, DS line of uh, like the era or the timeline, really. Because... I think if you have Pokemon Diamond or Pearl, if you have like a spin-off third-party game like Ben 10 Alien Force, if you also have a, you know, a cool Super Mario 64 DS, which I think I really recommend, and then if you have, um, Pokemon White version or Black version, and if you have Pokemon Platinum, I think you can be content with that. I don't know about you guys exactly. I shouldn't really say that you can be content with it, because that's putting, that's like explaining your situation, but for me, these games have got me through, um, the whole Nintendo DS line timeline, as I said before, and I'm pretty content with that because five games and it's been entertaining me for like a good amount of years, like five years, I think. Well, the t the timeline for the DS was probably like 2006 to 2000, 2011, I think it's I'd say 2010, but like four or five years, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do recommend all these games, even Ben 10 Alien Voice, because it's just a good game to just, like, kill time, I guess, if you're bored. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, in the, my, my next episode, we will be doing my 3DS, I'll be showing off my 3DS collection, so that's pretty cool. So, yes, yeah, so this has been Janko again, I'd like to thank you again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in my next episode where I show off my 3DS collection. My Nintendo 3DS collection.